He says it was an accident. He thought pulling the alarm would open a door uh, based on the fact that the doors to his right there were locked and there was a sign that he said he was, con- I think someone said it was confusing. I- I'll be honest, it doesn't really make sense to me, his explanation. Have you talked to him? What's going on? I mean, listen, I think if you actually do see some of the photos of the signs, I think there's there's something to be said about the government's about to shut down. There's a vote clock that's going down. The exits that are normally open in that building were suddenly closed. So you pulled a fire alarm? So... Either Jamal Bowman is a massive liar and an even bigger hypocrite, or he's too stupid to know what a fire alarm does. I'm really not sure what's worse. And just before the House was scheduled to vote on that funding bill, New York Congressman Jamal Bowman pulled a fire alarm inside the Cannon House office building. This photo has just been released by U.S. Capitol Police. Congressman Bowman told reporters he was trying to get through a door and thought the alarm would open that door. So during the latest mess of the federal government playing will we, won't we on shutting down the government or agreeing on a budget, Jamal Bowman decided to try and stop the vote on a stopgap spending bill by channeling his inner middle schooler and pulling the fire alarm. Which is a crime, but it's not January 6th, and he's a Democrat, so he'll get away with it, so who cares, right? I mean, it's such a shock that someone who is clearly such a calm thinker would do such a thing. Ask them, and they go to the Senate, ask the same questions. They're cowards. They're all cowards. They won't do anything to save the lives of our children at all. Cowards. Pressure them. Force them to respond to the question, why the hell won't you do anything to save America's children? And let them explain that all the way up until election day of 2024. Let them explain it all the way up to election day of 2024. They're freaking cowards. They're gutless. They're not here. I'm talking about gun violence. I'm talking about gun violence. Carry guns? You think more guns lead to more death? More guns lead to more death. Look at the data. You're not looking at any data. You're you're, you're carrying the water for the gun lobby. Look at the data. More guns lead to more deaths. States that have open carry laws have more death. States that have open carry laws have more death. And a quick side note, more guns doesn't mean more death. The rate of gun ownership has gone up in the US at the same time the rate of firearm homicides has gone down. But again, who cares about things like reality? And Republicans reacted exactly how you'd imagine. Kevin McCarthy gave a very slow, stern speech, which was about as intimidating as Joe Biden on a warm day. I was really appalled of watching Democrats' actions today. To delay it to get to a shutdown. But when we found that an individual elected to Congress would pull a fire alarm, that's a new low. We watched how people have been treated if they've done something wrong in this Capitol. It would be interesting to see how he is treated on what he was trying to obstruct when it came to the American public. Honestly, Marjorie Taylor Greene had the best response. How many times will you hear me say that in my life? pointing out that there are people in jail for this kind of thing. No, I want to talk about Jamal Bowman pulling the the fire alarm. Uh, Capitol Police are questioning him right now because it's on video. This is the exact, he violated the exact same law that January 6th defendants are being prosecuted for every single day. He violated the exact same law, uh, interrupting an official proceeding and it, by pulling a fire alarm, it's on video, and the Capitol Police have have the information. Did, did you see? This is what outrageous. They, they have it on video. Have you seen the video? I haven't seen the video yet, but I'm going to be demanding, and I'm demanding that the Department of Justice prosecute him the same way they prosecuted January 6 defendants. It's the exact same law, exact same law. This is outrageous. He's a Democrat representative. Here's what happened: Catherine Clark, the whip called the motion to adjourn and then within, I don't know, a few minutes, it was literally right after that, Jamal Bowman pulls a fire alarm while the vote was happening. You guys, this is, this is unprecedented. The Democrats will do anything to make sure it's shut down because billions of dollars are not going to their favorite country, Ukraine. I mean, you guys really, so So Olivia Beavers has tweeted it. This is the law, this is the law otherwise obstructs influences or impedes any official proceeding or attempts to do so. 
shall be fined under this title or imprisoned not more than 20 years or both. This is the law that January 6th defendants are being locked up, they're rotting in jail, and they're being prosecuted every single day. Nonviolent offenders are being put in jail for this. You took a video over there. Did you happen to catch like a part of it? Or you, you, I saw you posted a video on Twitter. Did yeah. you catch a part of it? Seems... Look, it's being reported everywhere. You can ask the cap, go ask the Capitol Police about it. I'm demanding the video. House admin has already reported it. They have seen the video. This is, it's just unbelievable. He's a representative breaking the law. And George Santos even responded. Hi, boys and girls. This is Congressman George Santos. This here is a fire alarm. If you lift this part here and pull this down, you trigger an alarm. Don't do it. Stay good, kids. Can you believe that anyone was actually surprised this guy was a drag queen? But again, Jamal Bowman doesn't have to worry. He's a Democrat and they play by different rules. And by that, I mean no rules. And when all else fails, the media is still on their side. Here's one example. Jamal Bowman's spokesperson released a statement explaining that, quote, because I have to quote it because you won't believe me otherwise, Congressman Bowman did not realize he would trigger a building alarm as he was rushing to make an urgent vote. The congressman regrets any confusion. And then Jamal Bowman came out with a statement. I want to personally clear up confusion surrounding today's events. Today, as I was rushing to make a vote, I came to a door that is usually open for votes, but today would not open. I'm embarrassed to admit that I activated the fire alarm, mistakenly thinking it would open the door. I regret this and sincerely apologize for any confusion this caused. Two lots of confusion. But I want to be very clear. This was not me in any way trying to delay any vote. It was the exact opposite. I was trying urgently to get to a vote, which I ultimately did and joined my colleagues in a bipartisan effort to keep our government open. I also met after the vote with the sergeant at arms and the Capitol Police at their request and explained what had happened. My hope is that no one will make more of this than it was. I am working hard every day, including today, to do my job, to do it well, and deliver my constituents. Peace and love. Oh, I see. I'm just confused. Those pictures don't mean anything. This is like saying, I'm sorry, you're angry. Axios also reported that Bowman said he thought the alarm would open the door, which isn't how alarms or doors work. And MSNBC, of course, worked overtime to clear up the confusion. Last thing I want to mention, and then we're going to take a quick break. Um, there was a mention of Jamal Bowman, Congressman um, Jamal Bowman, and the pulling of some sort of fire alarm. And I just want to read for you some of the reporting so you understand what actually went on there. Um, there were some reports that began to emerge about Representative Bowman, who was um, seen pulling some sort of fire alarm um, in the Cannon House office building earlier today. We got a statement on that um, saying Congressman Bowman did not realize he would trigger a building alarm as he was rushing to make an urgent vote. The Congressman regrets any um, confusion, just to clarify some things on that, because I know there was um, likely some folks kind of scratching their heads, wondering what it was they were asking um, Speaker McCarthy about. So let's believe for a second that Jamal Bowman actually didn't realize he would trigger an alarm by pulling the handle marked fire in big red and white letters. Wouldn't that make him the dumbest person to ever be elected to Congress? And yeah, that would be saying something. There was an interesting moment uh, over the weekend when your New York colleague, Congressman Jamal Bowman, and he's under investigation for this now after Capitol Police say he pulled a fire alarm mm -hmm. in one of the House office buildings. Democrats were trying to delay a vote, a final vote on the bill. Uh, there he is. Uh, pulling the fire alarm. He says it was an accident. He thought pulling the alarm would open a door uh, based on the fact that the doors to his right there were locked and there was a sign that he said he was, I think someone said it was confusing. I I'll be honest, uh, it doesn't really make sense to me, his explanation. Have you talked to him? What, what, yeah. What's going on? There? I mean, listen, I think if you actually do see some of the photos of the signs, I think there's, there's something to be said about the government's about to shut down. There's a vote clock that's going down. The exits that are normally open in that building were suddenly closed. He so you pulled a fire alarm. So I'm, I'm. What I am here to say is that House administration and U.S. Capitol Police and Jamal Bowman are an active, and he's fully participating in saying there was a misunderstanding. But what I do think is important to raise is the fact that Republicans, representatives like Nicole Maliotakis and others immediately moved to file motions to censure, motions to expel, before there, before there has even been conversations that are, that are finished to even see if there was a misunderstanding here. But what they did do, while they did that, what they did not do was to commit to the same when George Santos was actually found guilty after a thorough investigation of 13 federal charges. He's indicted on everything from wire fraud to actual lying 
of, of House investigators, and they have been buddying up and giggling with him on the House floor, and they are protecting someone who has lied to the American people, lied to the United States House of Representatives, lied to congressional investigators, but they're fire, uh, filing a motion of, to expel a member who, in a moment of panic, was trying to escape a vestibule? Give me a break. And so the idea that there is somehow any kind of equivalence to someone who is actively trying to clear up a situation that he himself admits he's embarrassed, he released a statement last night, he apologized, and they are protecting someone who has not only committed wire fraud, not only defrauded veterans, not only lied to congressional investigators, but is openly gloating about it, is absolutely humiliating to the Republican caucus. And I think that they should really check their own values. But what's the funniest part here? Jamal Bowman used to be principal of Cornerstone Academy for Social Action, which is, of course, a public school in New York. And here's how kids there are punished for pulling the fire alarm. A minimum of suspension for 10 days, and at worst, a suspension or expulsion. But luckily for Bowman, he's not in school anymore, he's just in Congress. And breaking the law there is only a problem if you vote the wrong way.